all right um let's begin so first off welcome to the live uh if you guys are using a computer you can follow me um it's the same on mobile so all you need to do is just type in nhd.gov.jm in your browser and good night um so let's kick it off all right so you type nhd.gov in your browser or your mobile device you will then click on the apply button whenever nhd have a new housing development in or added on their website you will see an apply button if it's more than one housing development you will see two apply button at the moment it's, all, it's only showing one for both of them so you click on the apply button and it will take us to this screen all right um so first you want to click on the housing development that you are interested in so we have estuary two and we have union acres all right i'm going to click union acres and i'm going to use some information um it's not real information just to pretend like i'm signing up It's, it's my first live um let me see if let me know if you hear me clearly now all right okay so application type so you want to click if you are applying as a one applicant you're using someone else or you're using your parent to assist so I'm clicking on applying on my own all right you click on that are you requesting a CRTD loan no a CRTD loan is and this is a description over here a CRTD loan is the contribution refund to deposit so this facilitate they will allow you to access contribution not yet due so what it's basically saying is if you've been paying any contributions over the year and you have not filed for a refund and you just leave it to save up that money can go towards purchasing your house all right so i'm gonna say yes i want to use my previous nhd contributions all right so in this section now you're going to add the amount that you are think you have available all right so if you know judging by your your pay slip you can say all right i've been making twenty thousand dollars i've been sending energy twenty thousand dollars annually all right you can add up that and if you add up that for 10 years i'm gonna say for 10 years that will be what two hundred thousand dollars yes I remember I'm just, I'm just using this as an as an example so all right all right do you have any savings available and if yes meaning if you have savings in a different institution you have savings at a bank or credit union etc you click the amount yes you can use contribution that is not due as yet okay so you click on how much you have in savings uh, i'm gonna say uh, let's say two hundred thousand as well you, you then click on the next button all right in this section now it's the main section of the application all right so you put in a trn number let me know if you are going along with me so you put in a trn number i'm just gonna put in a false trm number just to show you how the next page look because you have to finish this before you move on to the next page so let me just put in some information here you can follow with me as well for the nis um i'm going to type 
Title Select your name you want to use Select your name You can put your last name if you want You can let me put in this information. See, your date of birth is the third of the fourth month, one nine nine zero. No, I don't have a change of that. You select the parish that you win. I'm gonna select Saint James. You click on your marital status been married you input your mobile number in your address line your next of kin your contact person primary telephone number your housing status so this section we're just gonna fill this section and we're gonna move up there in, in a moment but while you sign that up I'm just gonna go ahead with this one Have you ever received a home loan from NHT? You're going to select no. If you select yes, you will not be able to complete the application. So I'm selecting no on that. Are you the registered owner of any house? Uh, if you click yes again and you accept that your name is on a title, you will not be able to complete the application. So this is for first time homeowners only. Have you ever joined with or co-apply with anyone who has obtained an NHD mortgage? No. If you select yes, you will not be able to sign up for one of these houses. So, no for that. Um, the house you're currently living in. So, you're living rent-free. You're paying rent. You lease. You own. Owned by a spouse. You can select this. And what NHD use with this is they, they use this to see how your spending habit if you can afford to repay the loan so yes select rent free how many bedroom do you or your also no occupied you can yeah, select the amount right there I'm gonna select two for now so this is your work and financial details for your application sorry for your occupation you select your application if your, your occupation is employed you select the place where you work, the branch, the address. I know it's a lot of information, but it will be beneficial in the end. How often do you receive an annual amount? So you can put the amount right here that you wish to say, let's say $100,000. And you receive this fortnightly have you worked with anyone else in the past no if yes you fill out the past employment history so I'm gonna select no I am going to restart the live because I'm having some technical difficulties on my 
end you can just stay on the live let me just get something and give me a couple of seconds remember it's my first live bear with me <laughs> 